basically set a new standard in the cabin interiors. Mm -hmm. So some of the features, we have the widest seats. And that's because people, if you do studies, you'll see that people in, around the world are actually growing taller and actually becoming bigger. So of course they need more space. We have the widest aisle and uh, we have the largest bin. So basically compared to competing aircraft, we can have 60 more carry-on bags, okay. which of course is very important for people. More people want to save time, carry on board. And um, even you know in the US, people now are actually charging through check bags. So again, encouraging people more to carry their own bags. Um, in terms of the um, windows, we have the largest windows, if you want to compare actually here. This is the existing aircraft, much lower windows and smaller, so we're about 50% larger. And we have basically many more frequencies, so each row has about one and a half windows per seat row. So it gives a much better environment for the passengers. More space, more light, more baggage and better aisles. And even we did special attention for the lavatories that are much taller than existing aircraft, again, accommodating for the, you know, the changing uh, demographics of, of people around the world. If you're looking at the global news, then the, this aircraft was not the most popular, even in the Paris Air Show, but also in uh, Dubai. Always the headlines was that Bombardier is not so good as we hoped. Uh, you believe this will change somehow? But at this point, we have two, four, three, I believe. The, so we have, yes. with options in letters than 10, 600 aircraft, mm -hmm. firm 243. Um, this is normal in a new product that's going into a new market segment. If you look historically at the uh, Airbus A320 program 737, we actually, compared to entering the service versus orders, we actually have, have more than they had at that time. We're very confident the economics of this aircraft performance and operating costs will, and customer appeal will speak for itself. Um, so no, we're very confident in, in the program and the um, the opportunities that we have. You know how it is. How many times do we do an approach and two people are down here? In this airplane, you do graphical planning here. Everybody's still looking out the window. Situation awareness is very good in this airplane, and you don't find that you need to rely on approach points as much in this airplane. Ļoti ārtri jūs ēdēt tiem pasažiem, kas sēž pa vidu, jo krāsts ir nedaudz platāks. Un, ja parasti pasažieriem nepatīk sēdēt vidējā vietā, tad šajā lidmašīnā vidējā vietiņa snāk ir tikai viena, viena rinda, ja, jo krāsts atlīmes ir divi un trīs. Jā. Tas vidējais ir tikai tāds viena kola. Jaunas sistēmas pielietots arī šeit redzat, ir skāriņa jūtīgs ekrāns, kur var regulēt gan apgaismojumu salonā, gan temperatūru. Es notari ļoti ērti un moderni strādāt. Es ir pāredzams. Bet citās lidmašīnās tas ir šajās jaunajās tikai citās? Jā, jo jaunāk lidmašīna tiek pielietot šis te jaunais LED apgaismojums arī. Ko ļoti novērtēsim gan mēs, kā stjuarti darbinieki, gan arī pasažieri, ir ļoti ērti šī bagāžas nodalījuma somā. Var vairāk salikt somas. Бомбардер, они уже очень долго работают в этой отрасли. В принципе, самолеты, которые, то есть, которые потом стали бомбардер, да, они выросли из Дегавела. Первые самолеты уже до, до военные были в Латвии использованы, да, из компаний, которые связаны, ну, которые потом стала бомбардер. Да, и опыт у них очень большой. Мы видим их самолеты каждый день перевозит тысячи тысячи пассажиров мы я открыл я был очень очень рад вчера вечером когда я видел самолет когда приземлился но это нечто особенное я вам скажу это самый молодой самолет вообще который в риге был но это момент ну такой исторический очень современный самолет очень экономичный и когда наши пассажиры станут летать на этом самолете, я извиняюсь, то есть нормальные самолеты у них покажутся ну, не такими хорошими.
We, what we always said, and this will not change, we want uh, the, the equity decision, uh, which the parliament will hopefully take, government has decided on it. After the equity decision is taken, we will just continue with our uh, Bombardier contract and we will continue executing the business plan, which calls for seven more jets. And we, we, we will take that decision after we have the positive equity decision that hasn't changed. The, the change maybe is that uh, we can now show that this aircraft is ready with the test flying, it is here, it is flying. Um, I think the public needs to understand that this is a long process. When you, when you order aircraft, when you purchase aircraft, there's tendering and there's lots of discussions. And sometimes discussions uh, lead to results which people don't expect. Uh, so far I understand that everybody is only talking about one decision which was wrong. Uh, again, we will have first the equity decision and thereafter we will have decision on uh, additional aircraft of Air Baltic. Uh, yes, yeah, so to be fair, the Sukhoi uh, jet really doesn't compete in this segment. It's a smaller aircraft that's competing more in the 100 seat market and below. This aircraft um, in the CS100 is typically configured in 120 seats, and the CS300 typically between 140 and 160 seats. So we're really in a segment that is larger than the Sukhoi uh, aircraft. And so quality? Um, our quality, of course, we're very proud of the technology and quality of our products. Um, this is world class from basically um, operations point of view, from the quality of the build and new technology. And you'll have a chance to experience that yourself as you walk around the aircraft and take a look both inside and outside about our quality. So I leave it to you to make your own assessment. Okay. Thank uh, you. And uh, it means that Suhoi is regional class. Local, yes, aircraft local um, typically, you know, 20 seats moves an aircraft to another category. Mm -hmm. So they're really about 20 seats below our category. Mm -hmm. So they're competing really more against our regional products, the CRJ-1000 and the CRJ-900. Uh, C-Series is a mainline aircraft. Mm -hmm. It's really competing against the uh, A319, 737, 700, and the Embraer uh, 195 mm -hmm. is uh, against the CS-100.